welcome back to Moto MC. Hope you enjoyed my last video showing how to change oil and oil filter for my YZF-R3. This week's video is just a short, quick wash on this non-LAMS approved red Kawasaki Ninja 650L. Please keep in mind, um, usually I would hand wash and hand polish my own bike. However, we were in a bit of a rush so we did take it to the car wash. Please uh, keep listening for some of the things that can go wrong and some of the things to avoid while in the car wash. I will show before and after videos throughout and the process we undertook to make this bike have that showroom look. Please note some car washes can be detrimental to your motorbike due to the high pressure hoses damaging the bike's internals and exterior depending on the amount of pressure used. Also, do not do this process if you have a leather seat because leather shrinks when it gets wet. Um, another thing, also um, using high pressure can be detrimental to wheel bearings, uh, removing grease and allowing water to enter where it's not supposed to. Um, also good to avoid shock, and fork, shock fork seals, uh, hubs and suspension bearing. Another issue with is the chain. Uh, pressure isn't a definite no if you can avoid it. Use a chain cleaner to avoid rusting instead. And before you start, do not wash the bike while it's hot. Please wait 10 minutes or so before you begin. Here we're just applying the tire engine cleaner, um, spraying it all around the bike and getting it soaked up. Next, as you can see on here, we're doing the pre-soak, applying pre-soak to entire vehicle from bottom up, then wash with high pressure soap. Be careful, um, do not get this in your eyes or anything because obviously you'll have to go see medical, but other than that, just as you, well, as you can see, Jackson's got his helmet on, so I'm sure he'll be quite fine. Next up, you'll be able to see we're applying the soap button. So applying high pressure soap to an entire vehicle from the bottom up. You'd be used to doing this on your car most likely. Um, but as you can see, Jackson doing it here at the front and slowly working his way back and underneath. If you are worried about your paint cracking, this would probably be the worst thing for it. So I would recommend not doing it if that is a worry for you. But as I said, Earlier we were in a hurry and did need to get the bike clean as soon as possible. Another thing to be wary of is using non-detergent based soaps. This um, helps with your bike staying in tip top shape. So next we're using the rinse button, just rinsing it down with just plain water. Finished with the soap now so we can get on to washing it all off. We recommend going from the top downwards so that the water can uh, roll off your fairings and as you can see on this video into the drain and the next step my most favorite part because of the coolest color is the splatter wax it protects and shines make sure you apply it to all of the vehicle including the seat it doesn't really do anything oh he's jackson being an idiot um but even on the seat it doesn't really make a difference but it really makes a difference to the fairings it really brings out the gloss and the shine in, well, these red fairings. You can see here where I've zoomed in, it turns into a bubble kind of texture. It's totally normal, it's just sinking in. Next step is the actual wax, applying it to the entire motorbike. Wax is really good for the exterior of the bike because it protects from UV light and water damage. Here's Jackson getting the clickbait photo for the, for the YouTube video. <laughs> then the final step before we go home is rinsing down everything, getting all the cracks and crevices, avoiding the electronics and all of that near the dash, making sure all of the soap's off and making sure that especially underneath the bike and above the wheels where your tail tuck would have been, and just under your pillion seat because um, that's where a lot of sand if you live on the coastal areas can get trapped so making sure all the soap gets taken off there with the rinsing rinsing so the with the water and some more rinsing with water but this time filtered water from the top down for a spot finish this is a lower pressure
and to the montage. Thanks for watching today's video guys, uh, be sure to come back next week for some more motorbike content. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.